Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for this tutorial I'm going to be doing a ultra glowy skin paired with a red lip. I'm going to start by showing everything from my prep all the way to the finished product. So if you want to see how I create a really nice glowy skin and a really nice bold red lip then please keep watching. So to start off with I'm going to be using my Nip and Fab Hydrate. Dragon's Blood Fix Plumping Serum. I absolutely love this. So I just take a pump of that and... Next I'm going to go in with my Benefit Professional. I'm just going to take a small amount of this and just put it over my T-zone. So it's literally just like a pea size amount. So I'm then going to go in with my first product that is going to help me glow and for this I'm going to be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. Um, I don't know what that says. I don't know what that says. <laughs> anyway, it's in the shade Opal and it looks like this. So I'm just going to take one pump of that and just dot that around my face and blend that in. And this is just a beautiful product. You could have it literally on its own and it's just so nice. So once I've applied that, I'm then gonna go in with my Iconic London Illuminator Drops. And these are in the shade Original. And I'm just gonna apply this to my cheekbones, to the tip of my nose, just to help the shine through. So I'm just going to take this on the damp beauty blender and just buff that into the skin. Anything extra I'm just going to dab around my face. I like to apply a lot of base glow because where I am oily I do have to apply a powder on top so I like to get the glow in my base and then try and keep it throughout. So for my foundation today I'm going to be using the Hourglass Vanish Stick in the shade beige so I'm just going to swipe this over my cheeks around my forehead down my neck and then I'm just going to blend that all in with my beauty blender so once the foundation is blended out it's then time to conceal as you can see, I've still got that glowiness showing through the foundation, which is a good sign that we haven't lost it yet. So for my concealer today, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. And I'm just going to apply under the eye, on my forehead, down my nose, my cupid's bow, and on my chin. And then using that same beauty blender, I'm just going to blend that out. And once that is all blended out, I'm then going to powder, but I want to be really careful with how I do this because I don't want to dull my skin at all. So I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just going to shake a little bit into the lid. And I'm then going to just use my beauty blender and I'm just going to pick up the product and set my under eye. I want to set my lid as well, so I'm just going to drag that across. I see I do get quite oily so I'm just going to try and put the powder where I get oily. So I'm just focusing the powder on my T-zone and then obviously I just set my under eye. I don't want to drag it too much onto the other areas of my face. So I'm going to just pull that and just flick that up. Okay, so once we have set our skin, I am starting to look a little bit more matte, which is annoying. So if you don't actually have to set your skin, it might be best not to, but I know that I just get really oily, so I have to set, I have to set my face. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and I'll be back. Okay, so my eyebrows are done. I'm going to move on to my eyes just really quickly 
um, and literally all I'm doing for this is just going to dust some bronzer all over the lid just really lightly because I just want a really really subtle um, colour to it but I want to keep it quite neutral so I'm just going to take my hula bronzer I'm literally just going to dust this over my lid just really really softly So let's finish the skin so that we can get our glow on. So for my bronzer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. And I'm just going to bounce this along my cheekbones like usual. So when you think you're bronzed enough, you can stop. I'm just gonna, I, I am like really, really bronzed right now, but I just feel like whenever I put a red lip on, it like washes me out. So I'm just taking a little bit of that hula. Okay. So now I'm gonna go into my blusher and I normally do my blusher after my highlighter, but because I'm gonna be using the Iconic London Illuminating Drops, sometimes they, the brusher can stick to them. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna do my blusher now. So I'm gonna just apply this to the apple of my cheek, a little bit down the bridge of my nose. And this just gives a really cute, like sun-kissed effect. So cute. So I'm just going to blend that into my bronzer. Okay, so moving back to our glow. I'm going to be using the Illuminating Drops first. And we're going to bounce these in with a beauty blender. So I'm going to apply it to the back of my hand. Okay, so I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender. I'm just going to dab it in and then dab it on. Take this everywhere that you would apply normal and then just really work it into the skin. So we are back. Because for a second there, I did think that my glowy skin tutorial was like a, a matte one. So once you've got your illuminator on, go back over my bronzer and I'm just gonna, I'm not applying any more to the brush but I'm just gonna bounce over just so we get a nice seamless blend. And I am now going to go in with my Anastasia. This I am obsessed with and this just makes, this is gonna, I've not actually put these two together before but I can tell that it's just gonna be ridiculous. So crazy man right, I'm gonna take this from my inner corner and under my brow button as well so I am gonna go back in with the illuminator drops and this time I'm going to apply them to my collarbones and to my shoulders as this I think really just completely Look. And the good thing about these is you can add them into your um, like moisturiser as well, and they just go so lovely. It's really awkward to see what I'm doing. I'm now just going to take a dry brush and I'm going to just blend over those edges. Oh, I feel really cat candid. I can do that shoulder. I'm going to move on to my lips and we're going to be using the Rimmel London Lip Liner in Red Diva. And I'm just going to use this to line my lip. So, you look like this. And then for my lipstick, I'm going to be using the MAC Relentlessly Red. This is just like a gorgeous, pinky, ready, corally gorgeousness. So... So we are nearly complete. I'm going to go ahead and stick on my lashes and 
I'll be back in a second. So I just went ahead and applied my lashes in the style TL4. I'm just going to finish by spraying some Fix Plus all over my face and body just to really set that glow. I love being glowy, it's so nice. Okay, so that is how I got this glowy skin and this lip just complements the tan and the glow so well. Perfect for whenever. So yeah, so if you did enjoy this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.